We have developing news this morning. Advisors from the FDA narrowly recommended emergency use authorization for a new pill to help treat COVID-19. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson joins us live this morning. Cole, this pill has a strong Nashville connection, but it was a tight vote. Hey, good morning, Rebecca. Yeah, some of the research for the drug was actually done at a lab here in Nashville, Vanderbilt University Medical Center. But talking about that tight vote, it was very narrowly passed. There was 13 yeses and 10 noes for the pill made by Merck and Ridgeback Biotherapeutics. The pill does a few things. It can reduce the relative risk of someone with COVID getting very sick or dying by 30%. Those who got the placebo during trials, 9.7% died, whereas 6.8% given the pill died. But keep in mind, this isn't a done deal. The authorization needs to be greenlit by the FDA and CDC, but if it is, it will need to be taken within five days of when you start getting sick to really help. Plus, you'd have to take multiple pills twice a day for five days. Researchers tell us the good news is it would be effective against different strains of COVID-19. We believe and uh, testing to date suggests that this will work against any COVID variant because it's targeting a different part of, I'll, I'll call it, if the uh, spike protein is the engine, this is targeting the tires. So you can change the engine all you want and it'll still deflate the tires. Meharry Medical College President Dr. James Hildreth was among the no votes yesterday. He says some of the concerns were not addressed to his satisfaction.